Hello and welcome to I Hate Keemstar. My name is Levi Thomas. I hate card games. Welcome back for the second edition of our modern meme series. This is a re-upload. Uh, the first few times I tried to record these videos um, had some major mic problems. You may notice in the first video I didn't actually re-record that one, but there's a lot of crackliness to it. Went on the internet, found some solutions. I'm gonna try some different levels on the mic, see what I can do to maybe alleviate that problem a little bit. Anyway, today we are here with Oh Baby A Triple. This is actually the deck that gave me the idea for the modern meme series in the first place. It basically stems from that Breach and Break deck that I had played before, uh, with the Through the Breach Emrakul mixed with the Kiki Jiki Deceiver Bound and Crisis plan. The reasoning behind playing this deck in particular is that I was playing Through the Breach with Green for Time of Need, so I was like, why don't you play a value creature with that Through the Breach? How about, like, Primeval Titan? If you're playing Primeval Titan Through the Breach, you may as well be playing Valakit. And we're playing for a Valakit. If you're playing for a Valakit, you may as well be playing Scapeshift as well. If you're playing Scapeshift, you may as well be playing Bring to Light and Five Colors. And if you're playing Bring to Light and Five Colors, you may as well be playing 80 cards in your deck, which we're doing here. So, best case scenario, we get a triple collateral on Free For All. Worst case scenario, this deck doesn't do anything until we just die. Let's get to the games. A very aggressive draw from Zoo. It is a 7 damage lava spike, and I think we're just dead, actually. That may have been the fastest game one in I Hate Card Games history. I'm going to be attempting to come up with a new catchphrase for me and the channel, so I'm going to try a few out. And boom goes the dynamite. Okay, well hopefully we're playing against a less aggressive deck with possibly a slower opener. I guess this was Suicide Zoo, though. I want to give a shout out to my boy Nick. He's a friend and fan of the show. He had a sort of scary medical accident happen wherein he was taken to the hospital and he couldn't, like, form words and things for a while, but he's he's doing pretty okay now. Wanted to give a shout-out to him and his paramedic that kept him from leaving us to the parish realm. If you guys could, please leave some kind words for Nick in the comments. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. This says bring to light Kiki on turn 5, so I'm gonna keep it. The whole situation with Nick kind of had me thinking, and I was like... You know, life is sort of like a game of magic in a lot of ways, where you're the control player, and life is playing Suicide Zoo, and their deck is just drawing really well, and they just keep throwing all the shit in the world at you, <clears throat> and you just gotta try and put together the best answer you can. Sometimes it's a messy answer, and it leaves your opponent with board control still. Sometimes it's actually a decent answer. But regardless, in the end, they're probably going to win. But that's okay, because you were playing Magic. And shit like that happens. I think we actually got it here. And that's the way the Nookie crumbles. And our opponent just scoops. Nothing left in the tank. This has Prismatic Omen Scapeshift if we keep drawing lands. Okay, Grixis Control. Now every one of our lands hits our opponent for 3 damage, so... It's a good place to be in. I'm going to attempt the scape shift here, and I'm actually fine with doing that, because if it gets countered, it's at no loss to us. Alright, it goes through. And that's the way the news goes. Opponent suspends Ancestral Vision, we suspend Search for Tomorrow. The suspense is killing me. So I'm drinking a glass of milk right now. It was like, around that time where you have like, two cartons of milk, and one is just about out, so you end up having to like mix milk from the other carton. I always, I just find it weird. I don't like mixing milk from two different cows. Doesn't seem right. I think a really good way to like end a messy relationship, you know, one where like one partner doesn't want to leave, is like you invite your g terrible girlfriend out to lunch, and then you're like, it's not you, it's pee, and then you just pull your dick out and you start peeing all over her and her food, and she's gonna run away because she doesn't want to be there anymore kind of foolproof. Oh, I just realized our opponent has crumbled to dust us, and they get to see our entire library. They're probably going to be more confused than my piss-soaked ex. This feels very similar to that worst-case scenario I described at the beginning of the video. Feels bad, man. So in other news, I learned a dentist trick that if you squeeze, like, your left thumb in a fist, that it shuts off your gag reflex. It's a useful trick in all sorts of situations. But the Cali Clutch. So I have an amendment for, oh wow, that's miserable. I have an amendment for that life metaphor earlier. Life is also similar to playing a combo deck against a dedicated control deck. And like, you try and get something cool done and life just doesn't allow you to do that. Anyways, we lost. 
We're back with the deck. After playing three games, two against Suicide Zoo and one against Grixis Control, I went one and two. The goal with this deck was to add as many combos into a deck as I could until it lost focus. Which might have happened at three. However, I think you could add a fourth combo and another target for Bring to Light and another addition to the four slot by adding like two copies of Gifts. And with the Gifts package, I would imagine you could add a Wrath package and then Unburial Rites, Iona, and Elishnorn. Yeah, in fact, I might make that video later. Add another 20 cards to this deck, doesn't matter. Anyways, this is a pretty miserable timeout. Hopefully the next deck does a little bit better. I'm gonna go troll message boards and say that Keemstar diddled me when I was five. Thanks for watching, I hate card games.